uh, Post Malone and, and Halsey. And it was just kind of this collection of, of people that we all got along and started writing records together. And we ended up writing this song called Forgot About You that's on the album um, that I was like, oh, man, this I kind of want to sing this. Like we wrote it for somebody else. And I was like, I actually feel like I could sing this. And I like I like this. And and then every time I get into sessions with people, with artists, writers, they'd be like, what are you doing with your band like you spent 10 years building this thing up to something you know um somewhat substantial and you're just kind of leaving it on the table and and I was like well mm -hmm. at a certain point you get sick of hearing yourself and I had nothing left to say and I don't have other people writing my songs for me so I'm, I'm not getting pitched like here's a chorus idea and here's this song's basically written you can add your name to it and just put it out and so that's not the way our band works and after a certain point you just get sick of hearing yourself and then cut to 2019, finally, I had done a couple songs for other people that had, that were connecting like Sucker for Jonas Brothers and, I, and I'd done a, a dance record for another DJ. And, and that kind of got me back on, in the saddle, I guess, so to speak. The album's called Human, but I think in reality, um, every album we've done should have just been called Human, Human Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, because we don't really do love songs, yeah. right? We, Apologize, yeah. maybe, apologize, maybe being the rare exception, which is like the breakup record, but we don't really do the super uber pop kind of like I couldn't pull off a Maroon 5 record to save my life. I couldn't sing those lyrics. Even if I wanted to, people wouldn't believe it coming from me. So most of our songs, if you like go through them, they're, they're really just about the human experience from different angles. And that's really yeah. what we do. What do you think the magic is in terms of having the ambition to write a song that's really big? and we'll get a lot of ears on it, but not sounding contrived. My philosophy now is write the shit you love on the day that you love it, and then don't overthink it, save it, mix it, don't, don't keep tweaking it, revisiting it, like capture that moment in time and move on. If you're trying to copy what's popular now, by the time your shit comes out, it's already too late. And, and then you really sound like you're trying hard. That's, that's my philosophy anyway.